Hello there. Um, you've already uh, read a little bit about uh, how to look at a, uh, a table of values, and this is called the table of values right here. A table of values usually has x and y at the top and then values underneath it. Um, what you've probably already noticed is that there's something called first differences. First differences are all they are is the difference between these numbers. Okay, so the difference between 3 and 6 is 3, 9 minus 6 is 3, 12 minus 9 is 3, 15 minus 12, it's 3. If these numbers are all the same, if the first differences are all the same, then what that tells us is that the graph of this particular um, linear relation is going to be a straight line. Okay, it's going to be a straight line because these numbers are all the same. We just did something called a first differences test. They're all three. So let's look over at the graph of this. If you look over here on the right, you'll notice that this line goes up in a straight line. These, do these points are plotted. So see how 0, 3 is 0, 3, 1, 6 is right here, and so on. All right, there. Let's pretend we just plotted all these. There's something else I want you to look at. This is called the rate of change, or it's sometimes known as the slope. Uh, I don't like that line very much. I'm going to actually draw a better line here. I know I can do it. Let's see if I can connect this nicely. See? There we go. You've done some practice with line of best fit. We just basically did that here, but line. this isn't really called the line of best fit because it just fits perfectly. So I, I'm just connecting the plotted points and it's uh, it turns out it makes a great line of best fit as well. Okay, so how do you know what the slope of a line is like this? What you do is you pick, you pick any two dots, any two plotted points. Um, it's good to pick plotted points that are on nice spots. Like notice how this is right at a crossroads of this grid. Actually, all of these plotted points are at crossroads, so they're all good. Let's just pick two. Let's pick this one and ah, this one. Just pick two that are close together. Could have been any two. Let's draw a triangle, a 90 degree triangle. Okay. This here, from here to here. We're going to call it the rise. Okay, it's how far it rises up. Okay, over here, this distance here is going to be called the run. Okay, what is the rise? Let's count. Well, on the side it says these go up by one, so six, seven, eight, nine. So that's if that was just spaces, it'd be one, two, three. The rise is 3. What's the run? Well, look down below here. Between here and here is only one space. So the run is 1. So therefore, the slope of this line is 3 over 1. You write the rise on top. You write the run on the bottom. And that is called the slope. By the way, 3 divided by 1 is just 3. So what's the slope of this line? 3. It does not matter if you were to if you were to pick different dots. Let's try it. Let's pretend you were here and right here. You drew your triangle. And let's look. What's the rise? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What is the run? 1, 2, 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. That was the slope we got before, so we know that the slope of this line is 3. By the way, a positive slope, notice it's a positive 3, is going to rise up. Okay, A negative slope is going to fall this way. But I'm not sure if we're going to look at questions like that yet. Okay, Just for fun, I want to show you one more, one, one more way to find the slope even if even if they didn't even show you this graph right here. Let's pretend they didn't show us the graph. All they showed us was this. Well, first of all, find the first differences by taking the, the number above 
and subtracting the number below. You get 3 every time. Do the same thing for the x values. 4 minus 3 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, and so on. Then all you do is you take one of these and one of these, and you say, what is 3, and then divide by 1. And what do you get? 3. That's also the slope. If these numbers were not the same, if the first differences were not the same, we can't find the slope, okay? So this only works, um, slope only works for linear equations, so lines that are going in a straight line. Okay, let's try another question. I've already plotted the points here. Let's look at the first differences. 17 minus 13, 4. 13 minus 9, 4. 9 minus 5 is 4. 5 minus 1 is 4. It looks like a linear equation, sure enough. Look at that. They're all lined up in a line there. Just for fun, let's do the quick way. What's 8 minus 6? 2. 6 minus 4? 2. 4 minus 2? 2. 2. They're all 2. What is 4 divided by 2? 2. That is going to be the slope. Let's see if that works. Notice I'm going a lot quicker now. Let us make a line so that it looks nice. There we go. And let's draw, hmm, let's go like this. Draw one of these guys. The rise is 1, 2, 3, 4. The run between here and here, now be careful, it's one jump, but you can't just go by your jumps. It has to go by the numbers. We have 2 and 4. What's the distance between 4 and 2? It is 2. You have to be careful of that. These numbers on the side here happen to be going up by 1s, but if they were going by 2s up the side, you'd go 2, 4, 6, 8. So you have to be careful with what you see along the scale along the side here, okay? Anyway, rise is 4, the run is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Notice that looks a lot similar to what we got right here. Yeah, we just found it in two different ways. This is the slope of this line. It's positive, it's rising up, and uh, you can find it using the table of values or the graph. Let's go to another question. Okay, first difference is 16 minus 8 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. Uh-oh, do you notice something that's going on here? 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 1, 1. Okay, in this situation here, these numbers are not the same. The graph that we get from this is not a linear relation. Look at this. I cannot draw a straight line. Notice I cannot draw a straight line through all these points. I can do a line of best fit because it almost looks like a scatter plot, but no, this is something that I cannot draw a straight line through because it's not a linear relation. Okay? It would look more like this if we were to draw it. All right, and it keeps going like that. That is a non-linear uh, relation. Okay? Um, have I explained enough? Well, uh, the only thing I didn't talk about is how you deal with a negative slope. And I think we'll take care of that in another lesson so that this thing doesn't get too long. Okay? Good luck.